first, um, um, okay, I came a bit late, so Putin was uh, already speaking. Pero what he was saying is that the Russians are particularly concerned about modern-day terrorism. Um, they recognize it as a major problem and challenge, no? Um, so they will give special attention to terrorism. And then uh, the president then um, started to speak. He said that um, um, he regretted having to um, cut short his trip to Russia. However, he had to rush home to declare martial law and uh, fight a war with the ISIS. Um, uh, the PNP and uh, the AFP have been successful at uh, defeating the ISIS, although there remains a pocket of resistance. Um, and then uh, the president was very grateful for the arms given by China. Um, as a, by, by, the president was very grateful for the arms given by Russia. Um, now, in a separate meeting, the chief of staff told me it was 5,000 AK-47, 1,000 um, rounds of ammunition, um, 5,000 helmets, and 20 trucks. No? And that um, this was very much appreciated by the president as assistance given at a time when we were in need. He specially commended that the arms donated were very accurate and that they were able to um, take care of snipers using the Russian-provided weapons. No? Um, and uh, the, the weapons came in handy because they had to um, fight it out on a building-per-building -building basis. He then signified he wants to buy arms from Russia. Uh, he says that he could not buy from the U.S. because our order for 23,000 firearms were stymied by U.S. legislators and that that uh, purchase was eventually scrapped. Um, but the uh, weapons given by the Russians no, for Marawi was responsible for full change in tide. No? And the Philippines said that we will forever remember the assistance of Russia. Then Putin spoke up. It's not just the weapons that were important. It's a decisive posture um, and readiness of the armed forces that mattered, that was responsible for the defeat of the ISIS. Um, um, and then in 2016, when Russia met ASEAN, um, uh, it was in 2016 when Russia met with ASEAN and that by August 9 of this year, there's been a permanent mission um, of Russia to ASEAN. No? So they started the diplomatic relations with ASEAN. No? Now, um, of course, uh, Putin said that the bilateral relation between the Philippines and Russia is positive and constructive. Um, he says that his prime minister will attend the ASEAN meeting in a few days and that they will sign um, they will sign agreements relating to education, transport, and energy. No? Um, um, he encourages um, further contacts between our parliaments and with the foreign ministers. Uh, he says that the defense minister will visit the Philippines. Um, and that um, we, we should look forward to signing military and technical um, agreements. No? Now, he says that the Russian economy has taken a beating. There's been a um, 44% uh, decline in the volume of trade in the, um, recently, but in the first eight months of the year, there's been 18% increase in the volume of trade. Um, now, of course, the Russians would like to trade with the Philippines. They have corporations that would like to do business in the field of energy, um, particularly. No? He also says that their uh, company that is um, promoting nuclear energy would like to um, um, have business um, dealings with the Philippines 
and they have other companies in transportation, including Subway, no, that they want to invest in. No? He made particular mention of the interest to build a light metro rail for Baguio and La Trinidad. No? They're also very interested in civil aviation, selling aircrafts and helicopters. In return, they're very interested in importing fish, fruit, um, and other seafoods, while they want to export grain and uh, meat to the Philippines. They also want to improve humanitarian and cultural ties. Um, they have actually declared a whole week um, to honor Philippine culture in Russia. And um, they would want to promote tourism and education no? on a reciprocal basis. Um, they're ready to offer a wide range of um, goods, um, including helicopters. Um, they want to sell at least 10 high-speed boats and other types of um, boats. No? They want, of course, um, Russia, they appreciate the fact that Russia has been able to make uh, calls on our ports and um, they will sh exhibit reciprocity by allowing Philippine ships to call on Russian ports. This is important. There's a proposal to build the maintenance center for Russian ships in the Philippines. No? Now, he also invited the Philippine military to train in Russia um, and um, that the Russians will uh, establish or appoint a military attache in Manila, no? in their mission in Manila. No? Um, it's important to keep developing a close relationship with the Philippines. Now, the president then responded as follows. We want to improve trade with Russia and we want to export particularly uh, food products. We welcome... Our ports are ready to um, welcome um, more Russian vessels um, and we want to buy Russian weapons. We, he welcomes the proposal to establish a ship repair facility in uh, the Philippines to service Russian ships and that he will send some of our military no, um, for training to Russia. He emphasized that what we want is friendship with all countries and we do not want any trouble with any um, other country. He says that he will buy arms to deal with the Philippine problem of extremism. Um, the arms that he wants to purchase from Russia will be used to deal with terrorism. He says that he does not want to participate in conflicts between big powers um, and he appreciates that Russia has shown good faith. Um, I can't understand my own writing. What is that? Ah, and that, 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 um, that, that, that the Philippine ports would be ready to um, accept Russian vessels. Now, when Russia gave us assistance at the time we needed it, the president said that this proves beyond um, all doubts that Russia is a good friend and that um, he emphasized again that the arms are intended to fight terrorism. Um, happy to accommodate the Russians and other countries um, in this dynamic world. Again, he says that Russia was there when we needed her. That the Philippine-Russian relationship is doing very great. He will appoint, he will prepare a list of things that they, the Philippines would want to buy from Russia by way of arms. No? He then um, narrated that we had a very bad experience where the Americans sold us second-hand helicopters. There were three at three second-hand helicopters sold to us by the Americans, and that he's distraught that of the three hand-me-downs, which is the word used of the president, two had already crashed. So he has uh, decided that he will no longer purchase 
um, military hardware which are in bad condition. The Philippines will buy brand new uh, military armaments from Russia because Russia is a um, very good manufacturer of machines and equipment. No? Now, he narrated that when he was mayor, he bought one kind of a jeep, Russian-made jeep lander, no? and that there was hardly any trouble with it. No? Um, so, unfortunately, he says that he only bought one. Now, um, the Russian president said that actually the life of our jeeps lasts for about 10 years. No? Um, the president then said that he will appoint a special envoy for military side and to improve trade relations with Russia. I read it live. Uh, delicious. <laughs>